We can anticipate that there'll be uh, some re response time uh, delays. A new CD report is warning fewer equipment and firefighters could be on duty in order to find the $3 million in savings the city's budget 2024 is asking the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service to achieve. According to the city, a minimum of 167 full-time equivalent workers per shift are needed to operate all their apparatus, but to ensure there are enough staff when absences arise, 216 full-time equivalents are scheduled per shift. Right now, the department calls in overtime when they go below their minimum of 167 full-time equivalents. In order to save money, the new report says when staffing goes below the department's 167 FTEs threshold, instead of using overtime, they would now temporarily remove equipment from operational rotation. The report including an escalating chart showing the more staff they are short, the more equipment will be taken from service. If there is a shortage of more than 16 full-time equivalent staff over time will then be used due to safety risks. I think that we need to review that $3 million ask. Um, you know, we're not looking to make Winnipeg any less, less safe when it comes to fire paramedic response. Councillor Evan Duncan, who chairs the Community Services Committee, says despite the city report saying savings of this level can only be found through staffing because it represents 86% of costs, he says efficiencies can be found elsewhere. I think it's important that we look at other options and we want to make sure that it's realistic, the $3 million uh, number. But the chief says WFPS is already stretched thin. The report also warning they may not run a 2025 recruitment and about 24 firefighting positions could be permanently removed if they continue to have to find this level of savings. We don't have uh, wiggle room. We're uh, operating a very uh, lean uh, operation. Uh, here in the past weeks, mental health has been top of mind. We we lost our, our brother, and we had had a lot of media coverage on that. Uh, removing apparatus, uh, you know, out of out of our fleet will only add to the stressors. This is not going to help anything, and it's only going to exacerbate the situation. The city says the cost savings will not affect EMS since shared health covers the cost. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.